Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I've got my final empties of 2021 and I'm gonna be sharing some thoughts on some makeup and skincare that I've used up recently. I think this is my second empties video with this little bag holding all of my empties and whenever I hold this or I dig through it, I feel like Santa Claus with his bag, which I would say is perfect timing because as of the time I'm filming this, I'm thinking it might go up on Christmas day. If it does, Merry Christmas if you celebrate or if it goes up after or before. Also, hope you had a happy holidays, but I'm definitely feeling like Santa Claus today. So anyways, if you're new here, hi, I'm Kelly. During the month of December, I'm posting every single day for Vlogmas, so you can find a new video from me every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. Vlogmas is coming to an end. We have about one week left, but I hope you guys have enjoyed all of these videos so far, and let's go ahead and hop into it. I'm like, do I separate these, or do I? is it just like a mystery bag where I close my eyes and reach in and we just get whatever we get? Let's try that. We've got this concealer. This will be like a little game. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. I had mine in the shade 30NN. This was something I used up through my project pan. Ooh. As I just said that, I'm like, no, this video cannot go up on Christmas, actually, because then it would spoil the surprise for the project pants. So it's got to go up after that. Okay, thinking out loud here. But I did enjoy this concealer. I don't think this is one that I'm going to repurchase, though. I would say that this one can look slightly dry on my under eyes, but it is a nice coverage concealer. I have a lot of other concealers that I like a little bit more than this. I would say the Kosas Revealer Concealer or the new one from Catrice. I think both of those sit a little bit more smooth on my under eyes and don't look quite as dry. Not that this looks incredibly dry, but those ones I would say look a little bit better to the point that I don't think I would repurchase this one. That being said, the foundation in this line is one of my tip top favorites. Okay, if you've been here for Vlogmas, you know I've been putting a candle in the background to get those holiday vibes and my camera always wants to focus on the candle, but what is next in this bag? We have, oh, a hair product. Okay, I can't believe how fast I used this up. This is the Verb Dry Shampoo. I liked this so much, but I feel like I sped right through it, and I'm confused because it's not a super small bottle. It's 4.5 ounces, which I would typically go through a little bit slower, but for some reason, I went through this really quickly. I liked this dry shampoo a lot, and it actually comes in two different variations. This is the one for blonde hair, and then they have one for darker hair colors. I'm assuming that one is tinted, whereas this one can leave a slight, a slight white cast, but I feel like you can blend it in pretty easily. I definitely would repurchase this, but it's one I would say I would try to get on sale just because it is a high-end dry shampoo, and you can find other ones at the drugstore that have a similar formula. I would say I don't love it more than my Eva NYC dry shampoo. That one for me is still like the top spot, but this definitely has less of a white cast than that one. So this one, maybe during like the VIB sale in the spring or something, if I could get a little bit of a discount on it, I might repurchase it. But I think I'm gonna go back to some drugstore dry shampoos for now. There are a few others I wanna try out, but let me know which one is your favorite. Okay, next, ooh. This is a moisturizer. This is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA, HA being hyaluronic acid. This is a really giant bottle. This is 3.3 fluid ounces. So actually a really nice convenient size because even though it is giant, you could still fly with it without having to check it. I did like this as a really simple moisturizer. It's very, very affordable, like all products from the Ordinary. But now that my skin is a little bit drier, this is not enough for me. I need a little bit more of a heavy duty moisturizer. I did use this up actually on my neck. A lot of the skincare products I'm going to be mentioning I used up on like my neck and chest because I am on a prescription for my skin. I'm on tretinoin which is a retinoid. So ever since starting that in like the beginning of October my skincare routine is pretty minimal. That's mostly what I'm using. It's only been very recently that I've introduced any other actives in on like some alternating nights. For the most part, that's all I use with my moisturizer and then I like obviously double cleanse and use sunscreen. So a lot of these skincare products I actually used up on my neck and chest. So we'll get into those next. But this I like, I, I don't think I would repurchase this. Okay. All right, actually another moisturizer. This one I liked a lot more than the other one. This is the Kapari Peptide Glow Hydrating Moisturizer. Now, it's hard to compare because this is 
a high-end product and that ordinary one is incredibly affordable but this is a very great heavy moisturizer. I'm actually bummed because I didn't see this on Sephora. I only see this on Kapari's website. I think it's a newer one for them. They did send this one to me. I was actually planning to repurchase this when I made a Sephora order recently, but they don't have it on their site. I'm hoping that they will in the future. This moisturizer not only hydrates and also locks in moisture, but it does not leave a film on your skin. I, but I also don't feel like it absorbs too quickly. Like it's that perfect balance. This is exactly what I look for out of a moisturizer. And I liked this one a lot. Okay, let's take a break from skincare. Let me see if I can grab something makeup. Ooh, okay. So this is a brow pencil from Flower Beauty. This is called the Skinny Micro Brow Pencil. And I have mine in the shade Taupe. I really did enjoy this. I will say Taupe leans. There's actually a tiny little bit sticking out. So I could probably show you. Taupe, you can't really tell in this swatch, but... Taupe actually ends up leaning slightly warm on my brows, so just know that, but I really like this formula. I like how skinny it is. It has this little paddle brush instead of a spoolie on the opposite end, so. Okay, I've gotta move this candle. We gotta, we, we gotta hide the candle. My camera does not wanna focus. <laughs> the paddle brush, I, would, I could do without. I actually wish that instead it was a spoolie, but a lot of high-end brands are starting to do that paddle brush, so it's cool that a drugstore brand has that also. Fun little fact with this, this was one of the products that won an Allure Best of Beauty Award this year, and I had a video using this on my Instagram, and the Today Show actually reached out to me like months ago when the Allure list was launched because they needed a clip for the show, and they asked like, can we use your video clip on the show? And when I got that email, I totally thought it was fake because I was like, no, there's no way. It was just the way it was written. So I Googled the name of the person that sent it to me and then I found their LinkedIn and I was like, okay, well actually they do work at the Today Show. So I was like, yeah, sure. So you might've seen my face when this won an award and I did like this. I would repurchase this, but I do have a lot of other brow pencils I'm using up right now, but I do think this is a good drugstore option. Okay, what is next? Another moisturizer. Wow, can you tell I started tretinoin recently? This is the Dermalogica Calm Water Gel. I liked this one. I would say if you have oily skin, you might really like this one. They say it's ultra calming, which I actually would agree with. I feel like when you apply it, it feels cooling to the skin and it just feels comforting rubbing this into my skin. It's definitely a gel texture like the name would imply, but I don't feel like my skin was too dry from using this. I think sometimes gel-based moisturizers don't feel like they're enough for me, but this one definitely did. I also feel like it left my skin looking really glowy. I would repurchase this. Okay, next we have this highlighter that I used up. Yeah, that's another reason this video has to go up after my project pan because I used this up in my project pan. This is my first time using up a highlight. Though it was a mini, I still think this was a really big accomplishment. You can see it's just the empty pan left in here. I just had like a singular pan in little plastic packaging. But this is from Ciate London. This is the shade Moon Dust and it was one of my absolute favorite highlighter formulas. It was a pleasure to use this up. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find the shade Moon Dust anywhere. So I think this is being discontinued. At least this shade specifically is no longer available. So I will miss having this in my collection. It was a really beautiful highlighter formula with a really pretty pink undertone to it but I definitely have enough highlighters that I'm good right now. I would not need to run out and repurchase this, even if I was able to, but I enjoyed using this one up. Okay, back to the bag. Another skincare product. This is from Versed. This is their Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. This is a really great first step in a double cleanse routine. I have compared this to the Pharmacy Green Clean. I would say it's pretty similar. I do think though that the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Balm is a little bit closer. The texture of this it's, is not quite as solid as the one from Pharmacy. This one, if you get it in your eyes, it can burn a little bit, which is kind of a downside for a makeup cleansing balm. So I did not love that. And it does have a bit of a strong scent to it, but I did really enjoy this. With all that in mind, I would repurchase this, but I don't know that I, would I? I liked this a lot, but I do like the e.l.f. one more, and I love the pharmacy one, so I think if I was going for a drugstore option, I think I would probably get the e.l.f. one over this, so maybe I wouldn't repurchase this, but I don't think it's bad. I do recommend it, but I recommend the e.l.f. over it. 
I used up a mascara. This is the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I love this. This is a tubing formula and it's very lengthening. I won't say it gives a ton of volume, but I do think it gives really nice defined separated length to your lashes. The color of this is extremely black and it is so easy to remove. The easiest mascara to remove. Tubing formulas, some of them are really easy and convenient to remove and then some of them I feel like do not wanna come off of my lashes. But if you've never used a tubing formula, it basically forms a little tube around your eyelash and then when you wash your makeup off at night, they kind of just slide right off. And the first time you ever use this, you're gonna think you're losing all of your eyelashes because that's kind of what they look like, but it's actually just the formula. So if you take warm water and kind of do this, they'll all slide right off, no mess. You don't have any like black smears under your eyes. Like it is so easy to remove, which honestly is the main reason that I like this so much. It looks beautiful on my lashes, but I have other mascaras that look beautiful, but nothing that is this easy to remove. You don't have to worry about like waking up the next day and having smudges down here that you didn't get because it all just comes right off. Another skincare product that I used up on my chest, this is the Ordinary Retinol 0.5 in Squalane. I actually used this in the beginning on my face and I do think that the Ordinary's retinols are a nice starting point if you want a non-prescription option. In the beginning, I saw really good results with this on my face. I do think that I got to a point where I had seen all the results that I could from this and I needed something a little bit stronger, but that's where I used this up on my chest in the end there. And I do sometimes get some acne on my chest and retinol is really great for acne, that's why I have the prescription. But sometimes I can get some on my chest and I feel like when I'm using this regularly, I don't struggle with that as much. Also with the squalane, it adds a little bit of moisture so it kind of counteracts some of those dry side effects that you can get with retinol. So normally I'll apply this and then moisturize. Also from The Ordinary, can you tell? They're my favorite skincare brand. I used up a large bottle of the niacinamide. This is niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. I really was not into their niacinamide until I started on tretinoin, but using those in conjunction with one another, I've gotten really good results from my or in my skin. Niacinamide is good for controlling sebum production. It's also good for your barrier. It's good for your pores, for your texture. So using this with retinol, I've gotten really good results with. I've actually already repurchased this. I have another large bottle in my bathroom that is waiting for me to open next. So that is the bottom of my Santa Claus bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this empties video. I'll leave my empties and declutter playlist linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for the next day of Vlogmas. Bye guys.